Hey, welcome back to Lenfin's Cocktails. Tonight, we're gonna do my least favorite Negroni variation that there is, the white Negroni. I know I didn't sell that really well, but honestly, I tried it a few years ago. I was really excited because I love Negronis and every variant I had tried thus far. And then I bought this bottle of Suze, I tried it. It wasn't my thing. So I've taken a two year gap and I decided to try it again. The White Negroni was created in 2001 by Wayne Collins and Nick Blacknell while they were in France for Vin Expo. Nick Blacknell was the then brand ambassador for Plymouth Gin, so they stuck with Plymouth Gin, but the story goes they wanted a Negroni, they went out into the small local town, they couldn't find sweet vermouth and Campari somehow, which is odd because it seems like everywhere in Europe has those ingredients, but we'll skip past that. They decided to use French ingredients, so instead of sweet vermouth, they used Lille Blanc, and instead of Campari, they used Suze. And for the gin, they used Plymouth Gin because Nick Blacknell was the brand ambassador, so it made sense to use Plymouth Gin, which is honestly the best gin ever. So there we go, props to them on that one. So this Negroni definitely takes a different turn from the normal Negroni, but I'm really interested to try it again because as I said, it was not my favorite when I first tried it. And so I'm really interested to see it again after a couple years and a lot of palate development. Tonight, I'll be using the original method, which is all equal parts. And then I'll also be using a 2-1-1 recipe, which is two parts gin to one part Suze and Lille Blanc, to try to see if maybe upping the gin and lowering the Suze makes it more palatable to me. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna make this twice. First, we're gonna make the equal parts. So one ounce Lille Blanc, one ounce of our Plymouth gin, and one ounce of our Suze. Let's set this off to the side. For our second one, we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of Lille Blanc, one and a half ounces of our gin, and three quarter ounces of our soups. Get them stirring. All right, I'm using every bit of talent I have, doing two at one. Clearly my left hand is way better than my right. They're honestly kind of like neon yellow. It's a really strange color. Suze is weird. Let's strain. Two, one, one. And our traditional equal parts. Had our big ice in there. Oh. Give that a little stir. All right, for our garnish, these used to get a big peel of grapefruit. Zest that over the top, wipe it down, garnish. Zest, wipe, and let's do it differently. Let's give it a garnish in the back. All right, first up, let's try the classic equal parts white Negroni. not as bad as I remember it and thankfully my palate has changed a little bit but right off the bat after those grapefruit bitters which are really thankfully right up front and kind of tamp down that gentian taste from the Suze, the Suze still takes over and dominates this cocktail. I don't even get a lot of that Plymouth gin which is wild because I drink a lot of Plymouth gin in my cocktails and I usually can pick up the flavors of it pretty quickly but in here honestly the Suze dominates all with that nice backing of the Lille Blanc to provide a little bit more sweetness. Let me try it again. Okay, I really don't hate it as much as I did the first time, which is kind of nice. Let's try the uh, 2 one, one So this is our two, one, two parts gin, one part Lille Blanc, one part Suze. Let's give this one a try. So again, right up front, you get those nice oils from the grapefruit peel expressed over top. But this time, with a lot more gin, I start to get a lot more of those Plymouth Botanicals, the citrus forward, the juniper taste, than I did in the other one. The Suze is there, and it still has that like fresh cut grass kind of flavoring, but it's a lot more tamped down, and honestly, a lot more palatable. This, this makes this drink really work for me. The sweetness of the Lille Blanc is definitely more present in this, even though it's a little bit less, because I think that higher amount of gin is, is really dominating the drink and letting the Suze exist in a fair space with the Lille Blanc. I think, honestly, this is the way to go. I saw this recipe on Anders' channel, and really, thank you, Anders, because this one is much, much better than the original, and I could actually see myself drinking this on a hot day. 
because a Negroni on a hot day is great, but sometimes the Campari and Sweet Vermouth can get a little bit too syrupy and thick. This is a lot lighter tasting and still has that same refreshing quality. And the grapefruit on top really adds to that summertime hot weather aspect. So between the two, I'm definitely going with the one with more gin. I think it's a lot better tasting and truly more enjoyable and I could actually see myself drinking these. So if you tried both, let me know which one you like better. Leave me a message in the comments. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and cheers. Here's to a liking of another cocktail.